When we use the radio feature, we can control it by the steering wheel, by selecting mode, by the power button to turn on the radio, or we can hit the radio button here, or the media button. The media button will automatically connect to iTunes, or if you have an Android player and you want to listen to Pandora, as well as an iTunes phone, you can listen to Pandora, iHeartRadio, things of that nature, you can hit media. In our case, we want to hit radio, and you have the radio screen. To set a radio station, we're going to go up and get to the first set of music. We're going to go to the turn dial to turn the music station to 88.7. Then if we want to make it become number one, we're going to hold down this enter button until you see 87.9 change to 88.7. And you'll hear the beep for the confirm. It is an HD station. To listen to the other HD stations that are provided, you're going to go to multicast. And multicast number three will give you talk radio. And then I could put that underneath the other 88.7. So that's one way to use the HD feature. If you want to go to satellite mode, you can go up hit satellite, or you can do it again by hitting the word radio. And radio will cycle through the AM, FM, and satellite features of the radio. Now Lexus has gone to a single CD player because we now have a USB connector in the center armrest where you can plug in your iPhone, where you can listen to your Pandora, your iTunes, your iHeartRadio, or again your Android phone where you can do the same kind of listening through your different music players. Cup holder. And back to this um, mouse. When I hit menu, I then can go to information and apps. Apps is going to be the inform system, which you then can pair your iPhone, Android phone, or Windows Media phone to the vehicle, where then you can see iTunes, like not iTunes, sorry, you can see Pandora, iHeartRadio, um, Yelp. Open Table, Facebook, and um, one other one, which is going to be, um, there's six different applications, so you have quite a few to choose from, um, so I mean, that's pretty cool, movietickets.com, that's the other one. So now you can access that information through your navigation system and much of it by the voice control by using the voice control on the screen. No longer will this voice system work with the screen. You'll want to do it on your nav screen. It'll look like a little microphone. Fuel consumption lets you know what's going on with your vehicle. Traffic incidents along the route. You can see all the different incidents or people that are out road working or road construction. Lexus Insider, Smart Access, Lexus Tech Specialist, which is myself and Bluetooth, how to set it up. Those are different audio files that you can listen to. XM Fuel Prices, there's all the different fuel prices that you can scroll through. You can also use the up and down arrow between the map and the menu button so that you can see the different uh, gas stations. You can sort by price, brand, and distance. And we'll back out. You can also choose your XM sports teams, stocks, and XM weather. But we have to be outside for that demonstration. 
set up. There are some really nice things that I want to go over here. In general, we have language, unit of measure, which is mile. You can change your button color, how the keyboard, if it's going to be more like a standard computer or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all in a row. You can also do auto screen change. Say if I'm on the map and I go to the radio, I set a station and I let the station um, program in. I don't touch anything else on the radio screen. About 10 seconds later, the screen will change back to map mode. You can cancel the selection sounds and the air sounds so you don't have to hear all the the beeps along the screen and the feedback force. The feedback force is going to be the amount of force that this controller uses. Right now it's pretty tight and you could loosen it up by going to feedback force which is right here and selecting uh, least amount or more by the plus button. We're going to go to voice. Guidance will be at this volume. You can always select different volumes. Guidance will be at this volume. For the navigation voice. Guidance to get you to will your be spot. at this volume. You can turn on severe weather warning. It will let you know if there's um, severe weather you're driving into. Then we hit save. Navigation. We want to make sure that our detailed navigation settings are set. The driving speeds are set more around the 70. So if we drive 67 or 68 miles an hour, the time travel will be calculated on these speeds. A little bit better estimated time of arrival. Avoid traffic. We want to turn that on as well. There we go. What else do we have? Phone. You can, when you do have a phone hooked up, you can do the phone sound settings, like the different ringtones. You can update your phone book and the phone display settings if you'd like to have it as a full screen or just a pop down menu. Bluetooth is how you add in a phone. You'd hit register devices. Add new. Car multimedia will come up. On your phone, you'll just want to make sure that you have your settings open, Bluetooth, and click on your Bluetooth tab. And then the vehicle can find it for you. Last but not least, other. You then can go in and set up your XM sports teams. You can go to Major League Baseball, Hockey, NHL, I guess that would be Hockey, uh, NBA, and NFL. So four different ones there. You can put in your stock uh, symbols and your XM fuel prices. One of the things that we have is something called Lexus Personalized Settings. That can be changed up in the vehicles area. You can come down to Vehicle Customization, Door Locks, and you can change the different settings to your liking. Climate setting, smog sensor, sensitivity, and automatic AC mode. Light settings, you can change the different um, settings in this field. Right now you could do auto headlamp timer and you could use that as 30 seconds. So if my lights happen to be on the auto and I get out of the vehicle, the lights will stay on until 30 seconds and then shut off. Unless I hit the lock button on the key fob. Then they'll automatically turn off. Last but not least, you have other vehicle settings, which is driver's seat easy exit. 
If you have a very large person in the back, like six foot four, six foot five, has long legs, maybe full would not be the best opportunity to use because you might end up running the seat into their legs. So you could do a partial. So then the driver's seat would only go back half the distance when the vehicle is turned off. Also, if you have any child seats in the back or any kind of luggage, partial might be a little bit better just so that you don't run the seat into those objects. We'll take it back to full and save. Climate. You're able to use the climate by using the mouse as well. Come up to the up arrow here and then you can use a couple taps of the mouse and it'll turn on the fan. Or I can use the fan buttons down here. The big fan increases the amount of speed which you can see it grow on the screen. Or the little fan will make the fan speed go down. On the driver's side you have temperature and low as well as a dual mode so that the passenger can be at 84 and I can be at 80 but when the passenger leaves I can hit dual mode and takes it back to 80. You do have the mode selector. The mode selector will be found right up by the passenger temperature. You can see the little arrows moving when I'm pressing on the mode which is this area right up here. Last but not least, there are some other creature comforts like heated seats and air conditioned seats, that will be in the blue for the driver's seat. Heated steering wheel, which is going to be in the black areas of the steering wheel. Only on the left and right side, not on the bottom part. Privacy screen is going to be the screen that comes up and down by the push of a button as well as the passenger side heated seat and air conditioned seat and then the cup holder you do have a couple different driving modes that you can use on this car eco mode let's say eco mode under P Eco is going to limit the amount of air conditioning and heating flow, as well as starting your vehicle out on a very conservative path. Normal, you press down. There's no longer an icon under P, under the part symbol. So now you have normal air conditioning, normal heating, and normal heating, air conditioning, and acceleration patterns. When you go to sport mode, that charging meter will now change to a tachometer and a red light will show in the back. Sport mode will enhance the amount of shifting points or the amount of shifting that will make the vehicle be a little bit more responsive, a lot more fun to drive. EV mode will be electronic, electronic vehicle mode only, so you're using all battery mode. And the traction control off button, when pressed, you'll see traction off or track off. The reason why we have track off on the vehicle is in case if we are in a situation where the front wheels were to spin, we take track off and we rock the vehicle back and forth from reverse to drive, pointing the vehicle to where the drive pavement might be. Once the wheel is on the drive pavement, you turn track off, the engine shifts the power to that wheel and pulls you out. This concludes the overall inside of the lower part of the car, kind of like where I'm showing you. So we've gone over all of the different icons that are shown on the menu. You do have display, you can change your different display area as well. Last part of the video, I'm going to go over the sunroof control and home link control.